This video I'm going to test run times on the Ryobi 40 volt 1800 watt power station using different amp hour batteries. So the first thing I decide to do is figure out how many watts a heater in my shed lights use so I will plug them both into a watt meter to see they use around 1210 watts. I have three different versions of the 6 amp hour battery so I decide to see if there is much of a difference in the runtime between them so I will try to run each one but the power is too high so I get an overloaded message. So I will throw on a second battery to see if that will handle the 1210 watts and it does but I will need to turn down the heater to be able to test each 6 amp hour battery by itself. The shed lights are running at just under 200 watts which means the heater is running at around 1000 watts on high so I need to turn it down to low and see how many watts that setting runs at. And it's running at around 500 watts so I'll test to see if the single battery can power the heater on that setting and it does so I'll change the heater setting to medium and get a reading of around 712 watts. Then I'll plug the heater set on medium back into the power station and see if it will overload, but it doesn't so I'll try adding the lights as well, which in total ends up being around 900 watts. So now that I know a single battery can handle 900 watts, I'll throw in a fully charged 6 amp hour battery, which is the newer model compared to my others, and see how long it will run the heater and lights. I hooked the shed lights up so that I could tell on camera when the power goes out, so after 6 minutes and 22 seconds, I see them turn off, which means that's how long the newer 6 amp hour battery powered 900 watts. So next I will try the larger older model of 6 amp hour battery and I've had these for a while now so I'm not sure how fair it is to do a runtime on these since I've been mowing with them for a long time. I'm still curious how long they will power 900 watts after being fully charged though so I run it and see the lights go out after 4 minutes and 28 seconds. And finally I want to see how long my older 6 amp hour batteries that are smaller will power 900 watts so after charging it up all the way I will insert it into the power station and let it run. These batteries are even older than the last battery I tried and if you're curious about the different models I'm using, you can click on the link above to learn more about them. So the smaller 6 amp hour batteries power the heater and lights for a minute less than the last battery I tried, so I get a total of 3 minutes and 28 seconds, but again, these are the oldest batteries I have. And now that I know the run times I get on a single battery, I want to turn the heater back up to high, so I'll be testing the power station at 1210 watts when it's fully stacked with 4 batteries. So I will insert the fully charged 12 amp hour batteries for this first test and when I turn it on, I see that I'm at about 100% load level so I suspect that these won't last very long. I go back inside to work while I'm watching for the shed lights to turn off on the camera and then decide to do a little research on what amp hours mean. And apparently it's a measurement of a battery's capacity indicating how much electrical charge it can hold and deliver over time. So if a battery is rated at 12 amp hours, it means it can theoretically deliver 12 amps for 1 hour or 1 amp for 12 hours. So to calculate how much time I should get out of these batteries, I need to take my voltage, which is 40 volts, and multiply that by my 48 amp hours for all four batteries, and that will give me 1920 watt hours. Now I need to divide those 1920 watt hours by my 1210 load watts, and that will give me a run time of 1.58 hours, but that's not what I end up getting. After 49 minutes and 44 seconds, I see the lights go out, so I'm not really sure why my math was off by so much. I decide to move on and test the power station fully stacked with 7.5 amp hour batteries so I will insert 4 of them fully charged and run the test again using the same 1210 watts. So again I will multiply 40 volts by 30 amp hours which equals 1200 watt hours and when I divide that by my 1210 load watts I get 0.99 hours which is just shy of an hour. These 7.5 amp hour batteries only run for 26 minutes and 30 seconds which is around 44% of the runtime I calculated so it's even worse than the 52% for the 12 amp hour batteries. So for the last test, I will insert four fully charged 6 amp hour batteries, and again these are all older, so I figure they get less than 44% of the calculated runtime the 7.5 amp hour batteries got. 40 volts times 24 amp hours equals 960 total watt hours, and when I divide that by the 1210 load watts, I get over 3 quarters of an hour. And these 6 amp hour batteries end up running 20 minutes and 47 seconds, which is around 44% of the calculated time as well. So if you know why my actual run times are so far off my calculated times, please let us all know in the comments. Hopefully this video has helped and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more quick and on point videos.